The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. Great to be back. Appreciate my man Jacob filling in for so often when I was out for a little bit, but great to be back. And boy, we got quite a day to kick things off. Markets ripping in negative territory. All things considered, I mean, we're just below where we were trading at, basically at the lows of yesterday before this market charged higher. S&Ps, though, off by 57 points right now. Futures negative by 1% on the dot. Tech stocks trading lower. That's going to be your headline of the morning so far. You get the NASDAQ 100 off 308 points. That's 1.5% in the red. The Dow, quite a day yesterday. Best day for the Dow yesterday since 2020. And you got to run right now negative by 122 points or three tenths percent in the red. The Russell right now negative by 18 points or eight tenths in the red this morning. You jump over to Bitcoin. It's been quite a run for Bitcoin since the weekend. We were at about 57,000 on Friday. You make it up to 66,000 yesterday. We pair some of those gains to 65,000 and change this morning. Crude. We've backed off a bit. You almost got a 79 handle yesterday. We're back in positive territory. Crude up by 88 pennies. We got a weaker dollar this morning. That's lifting gold even higher. But you got crude up by 88 pennies, up by just more than 1% at 81.64. We mentioned gold. There's your gold contract. You're talking about record prices up to 24.87 overnight. Right now, we're up by $13 on the session to 24.81 quite a run for gold you jump over to silver actually negative for silver off by 25 cents quite a day yesterday silver makes it up to 3160 that or thereabouts we're off of that price level you jump to notes and bonds all the focus on the september meeting we'll pull up the cme fed watch tool basically a 100 percent chance they're going to cut by that september meeting right now the only debate is about a 93% chance they cut by 25 basis points and about a 6 to 7% chance they have to actually go by 50 by then. You do have two meetings. we got a meeting at the end of this month before that one. So that, that one's always in play. We'll talk about that one as well. But nonetheless, you got the 10-year right now. we got the 10-year trading. Negative three ticks, 111.07. You take a look at this thing on a daily, you're now breaking through that 618 of the entire move you had from December. You traded to lower price, higher yield. You peak out on yields at the end of April, and since then, we're back to basically higher price with 111.07 right now in that 10-year, and that is correlating to a yield in the 10-year of 4.18, 4.18. Are we on our way back to 4%? We'll find out. Nonetheless, uh, yields holding a little bit steady this morning. I did mention the dollar, though. Dollar not holding steady. Continuing the pullback. Look at that daily. Off by 55 pennies. You're breaking through the recent lows that we had in June. Quite a decisive break, right? Check out the daily. Look at this on a 15-minute. There's your break. Begins at about 3 a.m. Eastern time. You dive to 103.66, 103.72 right there. A little pullback yesterday. Back to the daily decisive break below the june lows and you got the dollar weaker this morning at 103.72 that's helping put a bid in the dollar uh, excuse me in the gold contract and you jump over the volatility index and as you may expect a little bit of negative action the vix right now spike into a 14 handle haven't seen a 14 handle going back to over a month ago about six weeks ago last time we saw the vix at this price level june 4th to be exact yeah there it is you got as high as 1388 on june 24th but we are trading with a vix at 14 right now on the dot all right where do we kick things off let's talk about tech stocks you got them trade alone this morning here let's go to nvidia first we got a couple headlines out there nvidia it's been quite a run if tech stocks are going to get paired nvidia might be one of them not necessary this is a daily Done, doesn't bring in the action overnight. We'll show you the overnight action. There's your five minute. You gap lower a little bit, 121.48. I mean, you're off by $16 of where this thing was trading at less than a week ago. Pretty remarkable. You're talking about what? 12% move to negative prices from where you were just trading less than five trading days ago. Nonetheless, there's your daily. We talked about this A to B, C to D. Boy, we got A to B, C to Ds all over this market that are 
completing or near completion. And all things considered, we're just right at that place price level. Wouldn't be surprising if you get a little bit of a consolidation. Maybe your consolidation area is somewhere between on the lofty side, right? 110 to 130, 140. I mean, on the negative side, there's nothing saying that you can't trade back to $96, folks. That's only going back to where you were May 22nd. That's less than two months ago. If you don't think stocks can pull back from where they were two months ago, then you're not properly analyzing the potential risks in this market. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but you better believe that it may happen, man. We just traded down 12% in this equity over a period of four trading days, not even, right? That was where we were last Thursday. Nonetheless, NVIDIA 121.30 this morning. You got Taiwan Semiconductor. They're trading lower this morning on some of comments from former President Trump who is far in the lead in this election, man. We'll pull up some of those statistics in terms of probabilities, the betting markets, basically a two-to-one favorite. And I think that's even being kind to Biden at this point. I think it's being really kind to Biden uh, if he is the nominee. But Taiwan Semiconductor, Trump out there saying that maybe they should be paying for defense. Well, that's not what shareholders want to hear of Taiwan Semiconductor, man. You trade from 186 and change down to 175 and change, just like that. All tech stocks getting hit, but they're getting hit uh, more dramatically than most on those comments. And it's not slowing down right now with the NASDAQ 100 off 1.53%. We check out some of the other tech stocks. It's Prime Day, folks. Have you got your Prime action? Amazon. Off about a dollar and forty cents right now, one ninety one sixty four. Prime day yesterday and today, they always come out. It's interesting, um, and I do have Amazon in my retirement account, man. I mean, almost everybody does if you have some type of growth stocks or S and P or Nasdaq, but they always come out with some cherry pick statistics and somehow get a pop in the day of the final. Maybe tomorrow they come out. We'll see if they do that in the face of quite a rally to the downside and a pullback with the tech stocks right now. But Amazon down about a buck fifty. We jump over to Microsoft shares this morning, MSFT. They're down about six dollars four forty three. You jump over to Google shares this morning, uh, barely off Google. Look at that, off less than a dollar. They were as low as one eighty three. You're trading at one eighty four seventy seven. How about Meta shares this morning? Meta shares. Oh, there's a ten dollar hit for you. That thing's been on quite a tear. But look at how they give it back so quick, man. From 538 to 479. What are you talking about? 58 bucks? Yeah. Amazon, uh, excuse me, Meta's down more than 10% from where they were, just like NVIDIA shares last Thursday. You jump over to Apple. This thing has been just on a tear, man. I heard my dad talking about this, I think, a couple days ago. Yeah, when this thing was up to 237, I think they were talking about it. 3.6 trillion dollar company yeah they're 3.528 right now remarkable they had some big indian numbers in terms of the growth over in india pushing them you're at 230 bucks this thing just a rocket ship from where you were in april of 164 and this is where folks you know 164 to 234 you're talking about a company with 15 billion shares outstanding 15.3 it used to i remember when it was 16 it's funny those buybacks they do add up right 15.3 billion shares we'll round it to 15 for simple math we have gained geez, what are we talking about here 70 dollars yeah so you're talking about over a trillion dollars in market cap from where you were in April. Absolutely remarkable. So um, longer term, yeah, these companies are going to be fine. Shorter term, there is a potential for some pullbacks, man. We'll get into some of the numbers. We'll take a look at that FedWatch tool. We'll take a look at some of the other equities moving. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. This portion of the morning market kickoff is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We got the S and P's now off about sixty-two points. Nasdaq one hundred off three seventeen. I got a chart up here of Roche. So this is an ADR. I think this is traded over in Germany potentially, um, but that seems to be the chart. You're getting a pop higher on that news over there, as another obesity drug trial showing some promise out there. Roche promising early stage trial data of its latest obesity drug and you have Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk they are trading lower with some competition potentially coming down the not the line Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly share a slide on new obesity obesity drug trial from Roche it showed or is it six percent weight loss where's the number these GLPs man yeah average weight loss is 6.1 percent within four weeks that's a huge number, man, when you think about it, right? Even a, a person weighing 200 pounds and, you know, a male, depending on your height, maybe you're supposed to weigh 160, 170, 180, you're 6'3", 6'2", 6'1", sometimes you're healthy at 200, but just even 200, right? What is 6% of 200? 12 pounds in four weeks if you're at 200 pounds, if you're at 300 pounds, say 18 pounds in a month, is a 6% number just to, you know, and that is the average number. Just huge numbers, man. Um, yeah. You talk about, you know, AI. I, I was listening to a great podcast the other night and just a clip of it on social media. But, you know, AI is 
all the talk right now, but in the year 2024, these GLP drugs may actually be the biggest game changer going forward, at least in the near term, in terms of defining society, in terms of societal change and so forth. Because obesity it is on the rise, and it is already obviously very high. And yeah, um, it's a big one coming down the line. So you got to jump over. That's Roche trading higher. Novo Nordisk, NVO. There's your drip lower from 141 to 136. Eli Lilly as well trading lower, 940 to 90924. Now, in context, check out the run, okay? Now, you're pulling back to 910 right now. All you are is back to where we were trading July 5th on Eli Lilly. You pull up Novo Nordisk. You're trading right now at 136. I guess you're back to what? Kind of the highs that you were testing all the way back in March? Nonetheless, interesting as you go forward there. All right. We talked about some of the Fed watch, and let's get into it. So, first one that's interesting, all right? If you don't follow betting markets, folks, this is a cool site, predictit.org. You can actually legally bet on these betting sites, all right? There's a couple sites out there that allow it. Um, money usually doesn't lie, usually. OK, and you got to look at the numbers. And as I said, I think these numbers are even being kind. So you're looking at Trump right now. Sixty seven percent was as high as maybe sixty nine per, uh, percent. This is sixty nine cents on the dollar. Now, what is interesting in some of these, you got Biden up here at twenty eight and you got Kamala at ten. OK. The way this site works in particular, you got to pay some type of a percentage fee to like get your money off. I'll dig into it exactly. So you got to take some of those numbers off. But nonetheless, you see that divergence. Absolutely remarkable that they were basically tied with Trump. Uh, not basically. Trump was still at 61.48 as of June 23rd. Not the case anymore. Okay. So, and I would say it's even more dramatic than that. I would bet the absolute house that Trump is going to win right now if I knew that Biden was definitely going to be the person on the ticket. Not sure that's going to happen, and that's the only variable, I think, in my head. All opinions, folks, okay? Um, no politics aside, you're in the market. You know, you're making calls. That's why Taiwan Semiconductor, they're trading lower today on former President Trump's comments because he is most likely to be in the Oval Office next year. As of right now, if you're doing the numbers, we'll see where they play out, Okay. But then, you know, you come into the Fed. And there's the headline out there as well that Trump said that he would let Chairman Powell finish his term if he's in there. So that ties into things. But just checking out where we are right now, okay? This is the CME Fed Watch tool. It's not the holy grail, okay? But it is a tool you can use to get an idea of the probabilities of a Fed cut coming down the line. And to find this, folks, all you got to do is Google CME Fed Watch tool. That's it. It'll come up right away. And what's cool is you can go meeting by meeting in this, okay? You see the top tabs here. It gives you each meeting and the probabilities of where the Fed's going to be. The next meeting, July 31st, okay? What's so interesting is that I find it astounding that the market is saying there's only a 4% chance that we're going to cut by the July meeting, and there's a 100% chance we're going to cut by September, how can you be so sure of that deal? But the Fed does not like to surprise the market. And if that's where the market is, keep that in mind. OK, but we are currently at five and a quarter to five point five percent right now. And this tool is only pricing in less than a five percent chance that they cut in the meeting at the end of this month. OK, now we'll tie this headline in this from the journal out this morning. Central Bank is trying to win its fight on inflation without causing a deep economic slump. You have a journal exclusive out here. The top officials suggest the Fed is closer, but not ready to cut just yet. OK, I mean, it is all hinting to the September meeting. Now, you jump up to the top tab, you slide over to the September meeting. Only a 1.9% chance they stay where they are right now. 93.5% chance they cut by 25 basis points by the September meeting. And you actually have about a 4.6% chance priced in that we get two cuts or 150 basis point cut by the time we reach September. What is interesting here as well is that you can go back in time and see what these probabilities were. One month ago, okay, there was only a 56.7% chance that we were going to cut by 25 basis points and now we're at 93. Things have changed in a month, to put it lightly. Okay, You go out to November 7th. How interesting that we're talking about election season, too. And 
by the November meeting, there's actually a higher probability we got two cuts by November. And that is probably September and then November. You could throw in a July in there, obviously. You could throw in a 50 basis point just by November if they don't go in September. But you're looking at about a 40% chance that we have one cut by then, about a 60% chance we have two cuts by the November meeting, less than a 1% chance they stay where they are by that November meeting. You go to December, okay, and we're looking at two to three. So now the market is just debating with two to three cuts by December. Right? We'll even go down the line from there. You go down the line from there and look where we're talking about. We're talking about maybe three to four in January. And it's price again, maybe. Cuts every meeting. We'll see what happens. We're coming back for the open. It's sure to be an interesting one. Markets in the red. SP's off 1.1%. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July July 26, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got markets open in the red. We got S&Ps right now off by 58 points. NASDAQ 100, you're off by 353. You got the Dow right now. Talk about some strength, man. Dow, forget your 40,000 hat. How about your 41,000 hat, right? Pretty remarkable. Dow up 700 plus points yesterday. You're barely in the red this morning. 41,225 right now for the Dow. That's off just less than one-tenth percent. The Russell right now off by 18 points. Bitcoin holding up relatively well, off only $600 right now, $64,840. You got crude 
back above eighty-two dollars. We'll be talking to our man Teddy Cakestat after the next break. We always talk some forex. We always talk some crude commodities as they influence those forex markets for sure. Gold up about ten dollars this morning, trading at twenty-four seventy-eight right now. Quite the price tag for gold. Look at the run this thing has had, right? From February two thousand, you're up by almost twenty percent. No, more than twenty. Yeah, almost twenty-five percent. Yeah, almost 25% from where you were, February 5th. The run really began towards the end when you got that huge pop, acceleration, breaks above it. And now you're above this 2450 range, which, you know, you peaked out on gold. April 12th, 2448. May 20th, 2454. And we're at 2478. Historic record prices for the price of gold right now coming at you. All right, what else we got going on? we got a few things going on, but Tiger Dollars, if you subscribe to any newsletter at TFNN, folks, whether it's Market Insights, The Opening Call, Mastering Probability, okay, Live Trading Fridays with Larry President Vento, Fibonacci 24-7, Market Insights, The Gold Report, okay, any newsletter, go out and get some Tiger Dollars. You can apply them to your subscription. They get used automatically. You lock in savings. If you're thinking about signing up for anything, whether it's any of those newsletters, Live Trading Fridays, any, you know, Basil has an outstanding webinar coming up six days from right now. Next Tuesday, you can sign up for the opening call. You gain access to his newsletter for 30 days. You gain access to all of his archive webinars. You gain access to the webinar he's coming up this coming Tuesday, July 23rd, 90-minute webinar from 4 till 5.30. That webinar for Basil, talking about sectors and stocks to focus on in the next phase of the market cycle. Basil is excited for that one. I was talking to him a couple days ago on the phone, had a nice conversation. Uh, you can apply Tiger Dollars. We do two of these sales a year. This one's the July one. The next one probably won't come until about January, end of the holiday season or so. And you can get a 20, 30, or 40% bonus on your purchase, folks. You spend 500, you get 600 Tiger Dollars, a 20% bonus. You spend 1,000, you get 1,300. You get 300 additional Tiger Dollars for free, a 30% bonus. You spend 1,500, you get 600 free bonus Tiger Dollars. That's 2,100 total for a 40% bonus on your purchase. They never expire, okay? You want to transfer them to friends, family, people in the den, whatever you want to do. You can transfer them firm they never expire there's no fees where they you know slowly dissipate over time uh it's a great deal especially for subscribers or if you're thinking about signing up for anything coming up folks check it out that sale running through the week and as i mentioned don't forget about basil out there with his webinar and always remember folks you the way to do it is get your tiger dollars sign up for whatever you want to sign up for you just hold them you know use them whenever you'd like but you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, even when you use Tiger Dollars, right? You sign up for the opening call. You're a new subscriber, first-time subscriber to the opening call. You still get a money 30-day money-back guarantee. You'll just get those Tiger Dollars refunded if it's not something that you think suits you for whatever reason. I don't know why. Basil's got a great service, but it's all out there. We encourage you to try it. There's no problem if you want that money-back guarantee, folks. That's why it's out there. Give it a try. And, of course, Larry on Fridays, all the other newsletters out there. And, yeah, um, don't think you always got to sign up for that first Friday, folks in terms of when you're signing up for larry you gain access to the archives as larry does more and more of these it is a plethora of knowledge man gaining access to the archives of all the live trading events you get two live every single month the next one coming up fourth friday 26th of july and so you know you sign up right now you're getting the 26th of july you're getting the 9th of august right before you get renewed you get into a month no matter what. So don't think you need to wait for that first Friday, excuse me, second Friday, the first trading event. You can sign up for either time. So check out the Tiger Dollars. Check out the newsletters we got. You got 30-day money-back guarantees on all, all the newsletters. Larry's out there twice a month live trading. He had a great session going on last Friday as well. And, yeah, don't miss any of that coming up. All right, what else we got going on? Some of the headlines I mentioned. There's one of them. Trump says Taiwan should pay the U.S. for defense. And, yeah, they trade a little bit lower, man. Um and yes, let's be real. Taiwan Semiconductor is crucial to the American semiconductor industry. Okay. I mean, how does that even even go in terms of number one? I thought we were going to defend them anyway. Okay. Um, nonetheless, it speaks for itself. We'll see how this stuff all plays out. Um, and look, you got a little Fed speak on here. We'll talk to that. But then the next one out there talking about the Fed chair I mentioned. He would let the Fed Chair Powell finish his term if he wins in November. That's a Bloomberg report out there. 
Now, getting to some of the Fed speak. Fed Governor Waller sees the central bank getting closer to an interest rate cut. Seems like they're coming for September, right? Seems like it. So, you got Waller out there. Suggests that interest rate cuts are ahead soon as long as there are no major surprises on inflation and employment. The quote, I believe current data are consistent with achieving a soft landing, and I'll be looking for data over the next couple months to buttress this view. So while I don't believe we have reached our final destination, I do believe we are getting closer to the time when a cut in the policy rate is warranted. Now, that's an interesting one, all right? They have not reached their final destination, but they are at five and a quarter to 5.5%. Remember that, folks, okay? They have room to cut when they are so high, and that is the argument they're going to make. They're not going to make the argument they're done. They're going to make the argument that they can still be restrictive, by coming down on their overnight lending rate, right? They're at five and a quarter to 5.5%. And they can come down probably to a high four right now, even a four and a half, and still argue that they're definitely going to be restrictive in that range. And we'll see if it plays out, but that's going to be the argument. S&Ps pop a little bit on the open. The Dow, strong. Dow up 25 points, man. Positive on a day where tech stocks are getting clobbered. Let's check out some of those tech stocks. NVIDIA shares down by 4.2% to kick off the trading session. Apple, the king dog, off by 1.7. Microsoft off by 1.5. Amazon off by 1.6 right now, even on Prime Day going on. All right, other articles I had pulled up here. Yeah, this one's an interesting one from the journal. <coughs> Real estate meltdown strains even the safest office bonds. So this one's an interesting one. This is talking about single asset, single backer, I think is the is the term. S-A-S-B bonds okay and they stand for i think it's single asset single backer let me see if they had it up there yeah single asset single borrower excuse me single asset single borrower okay 260 billion dollars of the deals known as single asset single borrower bonds held by investors such as banks insurers pensions and mutual funds 260 billion well get ready for this market to be jarred okay 2026 is the year that really things get out of whack. 80 billion come and do. 56 billion come and do the next year, and you're already seeing some defaults. Owners of a bond backed by a Blackstone owned building took a loss after the property was sold in April. The first such impairment ever. These things are usually just uh, AAA across the board, right? Market is headed for more turbulence as more AAA bonds get hit. There are at least 10 other deals likely to take losses. We got one managing director at Deutsch out there talking about many worry that investors will be less likely to help landlords refinance. Not surprising. We'll see where rates are by then, though. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back with our man, Teddy Kegstad. Don't go away. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. 
Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We got the markets barely pairing some of those losses. S&Ps right now, slight bid on the open, but we're still negative by just about 1%. And it's Wednesday. It's 40 past the hour. We're going to talk to our man, Teddy Kegstad. Folks, if you get a chance, head on over to the front page of TFNN. Teddy writes an outstanding newsletter. Weekly comes out every Monday, the Tiger Forex Report. You can check that out for only $97 a month. 30-day money-back guarantee. You got archive webinars in there as well. And you got under the services tab, a couple great webinars capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads with Teddy Kegstat and Japanese candlestick pattern stock and option strategies with Teddy. And as I mentioned, folks, head over, get some Tiger Dollars, and maybe use some of those bonus Tiger Dollars for some of those great webinars out there in that newsletter. Teddy Kegstat, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Uh, it seems like Wednesdays we always got action, man. We got action a lot lately, but boy, we got some action today. We got some action in currencies as well. Dollar trading a little bit lower. Uh, where do you want to kick things off, man? Uh, I think what we need to do is uh, talk about the numbers. Okay. So, um, you know, last week CPI was a number that uh, the talking heads, everyone was all happy about it that, oh, oh, great. It was... Um, uh, it, it was a little bit less than expected, um, but month over month, it was nice. And they're like, oh, inflation is curbing, but year over year, it was actually, it was increasing. Um, the same thing with retail sales that came out yesterday. Um, the reaction is, and you can tell how the algos drive short-term news, and this is where AI gets it wrong. Um, and that's why you got to worry about the computers, because they look at things in a mathematical basis. They don't look at it in a human context. Um, AI, no matter what, doesn't go to the gas station once or twice a week to fill up their car. You know, they don't go to the store to buy food for their children and what have you. Um, so you can talk about the numbers all you want. And you know that I've been saying this now for two years that the economic numbers will drive the bond market, the currency markets, and, and they are doing that. And you cannot say that it is not more exemplary than it has been last week and yesterday by the moves that um, they weren't good numbers. They were talked as and touted as being, oh, it's fantastic. Look at there's a change. Um, no, it's a short term little blip that year over year on both numbers are not fantastic by any means. You're looking at it on a monthly basis and it's reactionary by the bond market, especially the, the 30 year and the 10 year. Um, if you really look at the charts, especially the euro, the, the ATR, the average true range, um, except for a couple of currencies, isn't really moving very much. You know, you, the pound has moved, um, 
the Australian dollar and a couple other currencies have moved. But the euro, if you look at it, look at how tight it's really been, even on a daily range. So um, I, I have to say that, honestly, where we're at, like I know now we're talking, you were mentioning the CME index with the possible rate hike. I yeah. said right in front of the, elec the election, if anything, they, the Fed could possibly help to juice the election, you know, come September. But there is no warranted reason by any economic data, even if it was to even there's no way it can catch up in front of the election. So this is just a precursor. You know, I mean, if 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 a point one percent move in CPI month over month, but not year over year is what's going to drive your 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 uh, choices in uh, whether you trade this way or that way. Um, well, good luck to you. You know, um, so I I, uh, I have to say um, we have a very interesting time. Actually, this is a good good segment to have because those numbers you can throw them out the window if you're going to actually base your trading off of those. Um, well, then yeah, then follow the talking heads for the next two months and good luck with that trade and see what it does because the bond market actually in the 10, if you look at the 30 year and the 10 year and how they've actually reacted over the past like week, let alone two weeks in the midst of all this, where have they gone? You know, where's the Euro gone? You know, the pound is fluctuating, but oh, that's right. The pound is that's fluctuating because the UK had an election. You had a major shift in um, potential leadership in parliament there, you know, as far as how things are going to go. That's why the pound has moved. But the euro and look at the Swiss, the Swiss, the yen. Obviously, we know the yen has been moving around. And but that's a whole that's completely removed from the currency trade because of the way it's been over the past few months. I mean, you have volatility in the yen that you normally would not have. I mean, you can look at the at the just the way it moved in the, in the over the past week, you know, um, yeah, without having any major economic. I mean, there is no cataclysm or any real economic news to move the yen the way it has moved. You know, it's, it's basically because it's at the levels that it's at. And it, this has to do a lot with algo trading, too. If you look at the volumes, um, this is not like um, speculators, you know, or traders that are helping to push these moves. These are algo moves. There's vacuums and volume, you know, so they're pushing it, you know, and that's where you got to be very careful. And, I, and I've said this before over the past few months, like be careful trading markets like the yen, you know, because of the fact that the volatility is very extreme and it's not extreme because of what's going on in the world. Yeah, you're, 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 it's the computers are running the whole thing, really, you know. Some great information, man. I appreciate it. It is interesting. I was jumping through those charts as you were talking about. I got the yen up here. We see the move, of course. Um, but the euro, and I remember talking to you two or three weeks ago or some, and about this euro, and it is remarkable, man. I mean, even you put it on a weekly, and you go back to the beginning of 2023, and we're talking about over a year and a half now, and you're basically between 105 and 110, which is a remarkable area right. of a tight range when you think about where – Market expectations, inflation of expectations, yields, all of that. And, have been and look at the, the dollar last. index. You are hitting it, yeah. Tommy, and the nail on the head. The euro is the biggest component of the dollar index. The dollar index is moving and the euro isn't. Usually you yeah. can track the dollar index by the euro. They're almost not completely the same chart, but they're very similar as far as moves. You have the euro that's going this way. You have the yen that's obviously going this way, and you actually have a pound that's moving this way that's had a nice breakout, and you have the Aussie dollar. Ironically, New Zealand dollar hasn't broken out like a, the Aussie. Usually they're in, in somewhat of a tandem relationship. It has, it's not the same. You know, we, I've been talking, like, the Tiger Forex support, like writing every week for lately, you know, certain markets, you know, I hate this, you know, it's, it's tough when you're like, sorry, um, we got nothing happening this week yeah. ahead. You know, you always want to have like, some, you know, a customer wants like Teddy, where's the buy, where's the sell, where's the move, where's, you know what, I, I'm, I'm giving you the honest, 
opinion and what I believe in. And also, guess what? I do give you tomorrow's Wall Street Journal today. We've been in a sideways range trade for a lot of markets. Like, it is what it is. Like, you, you can't force a trade. And that's something that I've talked to you about and I write it in the report. You, you can't force a trade. You know, having a good work ethic, you know, going to work every day, getting up every day to go to work is one thing. But being a trader is not like having a job. It's a business, you know. So, um, you know, you go to a job every day. If you're a union job or whatever, whether you're whether it rains or pours, if you're a, if you're relaying in cement and it's raining for five days, you're not pouring cement, but you're getting paid. You know, as a trader, yeah. you can show up and the cement truck can be there, and you want to lay cement, and guess what? It ain't getting laid, and if it does, you're going to spend even more money. You know, so and that's how it is, and it's the kind of environment patience, we're in right, right now. Patience, 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 sometimes. patience. Best, I mean, in many aspects of life, but I, I agree, man. It's great advice. Listen to that one, folks. Patience. Sometimes the best thing is to do nothing. Teddy, I appreciate the time as always, man. Look Thanks, forward Tommy. to talking next week. Okay, have a great week. Stay tuned, Let's folks. Catch we'll be right back. <laughs> as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Markets clawing back some of those losses. Dow up 122 points. S&Ps still negative by 45, but what are you, 20 points off the lows right now? You zoom in where we were coming into that open. We were trading at 56.52, and yeah, we're 20 points higher. The day is young, as our man Basil Chat would say. Basil's coming up next, folks, of course, for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Don't forget about that Tiger dollar sale running through this week. Don't forget about Basil, the opening call. He's got a webinar six days from right now. Teddy's outstanding newsletter, the Tiger Forex Report, a couple of his 
webinars out there. And, and as he said, man, you could spend a whole webinar, uh, a whole class on patience in many things in life, folks. Patience, okay? Trading, uh, many things in life, for sure. What else do we got going on? How about the World Series of Poker? How about it, man? So the main event. This year, they broke records. They got 10,112 players. For context, folks, that's $94 million in the prize pool for this poker tournament out there. I think this is going to be day 9 or 10. They got three people left. Okay, the three gentlemen out there. Ested, Tamayo, and Griff. I think Griff works for Facebook. He's like a pro or a manager for Facebook, I think. Um, this gentleman, Ested, he is basically one of the best online players ever. He's got $48 million in online po poker winnings. Uh, poker community rooting for one of these gentlemen because if he wins it, then the dream of anybody can win is kind of tough to sell when it's literally one of the best guys out there. But patience in poker, that's one of the things as well. And what they're playing for is $10 million. Not bad. Third place, they've already locked up $4 million. Second place, they're playing for $6 million. Uh, first place gets $10 million and crowned the World Series of Poker main event champion for the year 2024. You get your pitcher hung in the rafters and they play it out today in Vegas for the final numbers and you see the uh, if you made the final table you made a million bucks which is kind of cool nine people well you should if you beat 10,000 people pretty remarkable and they're playing with they're playing with you talk about some chip counts 187 million 197 and 223 it's anybody's game is what it is out there and I think they got a big blind what's their big blind at let's finish it up because they got about 200 million chips and the big blind is 3 million so they got a lot of big blinds out there if you know poker but guess what folks patience pretty remarkable folks great to be back have a great day we'll see you tomorrow folks